gods of gold, silver, stone, and wood. The mighty king of Babylon, the proud Belshazzar stood, drinking glory to himself just as he was a god. When an armless hand appeared among that party crowd, came drifting through the window to write upon the wall. Or words that didn't make much sense at all. The king turned to his friends in fright, frenzied desperation. But not one soul among them could make interpretation. The queen said long ago, there was a wise man in this land. Why don't we send for Daniel? He could read them. Daniel walked in bed, but tall spat upon the floor. Let me see these words well. Mm. Yes, I've seen them before. They simply mean your days are numbered. In fact, they're even run. You've been judged in the balance and found wanting. Your royalty was just a gift. Your father learned that lesson. By losing both his kingdom and his reason, so great in pride he was cut down, driven to the field, lived there like a wild beast until his pride did yield. But when the king, your father, achieved humility, he was restored his kingdom and his sanity. And though you knew all this to start. You humble, not your heart. The writing on the wall commands your fall. Old King Darius, that night slew Belshazzar, appointed Daniel prince and first advisor. The lesser princes, being jealous, drew up. A decree, allowing prayers to no one but the king. I caught old Daniel dead to rights, down upon his knees. Threw him in the lion's den for breaking that decree. But Daniel walked among them safely, by his faith protected. The king said, "This is just what I expected." Now you who brought me Daniel. May kindly go yourselves, and to the lion's den see how you fare there. What shall be the end of this? How will it pass away? Get up, old Daniel, never mind. Get up and go thy way. Further words are closed and sealed until the end of time. Many shall be called, each in his season. Wickedness of pride has lost the light to understand how little grace is earned and how much given 